Oh no, I've been imprisoned. Just kidding, I'm over at the uh, spider spawner because I'm about to make some cool stuff. All that, you see that? I removed my stuff just for that little gag. <laughs> These spiders, by the way, do not spawn very often, so I've been here a little while. Thank you, sir. Please give me some string. I need two more and got none. So, in the last episode, I finished my snow leopard exhibit, and I asked you guys about the cave. Should I make them a little safety cave? And you know what? I kind of felt bad for them regardless. So, I'm making them, or I made them, a safety cave already. Now I'm working on their, um, what are they called? Uh, what do, what, what's, the, what's the thing called? The, um, you know, the thing where they have to be happy? Yeah, I'm making them happy things right now. So I've made a scratching post, or a bunch of scratching posts, I should say. Ooh, that's enough for what I need to do next. And then a boomer ball. So we're gonna put those in, in the exhibit, and then we're gonna make a slingshot net to use with our um, net launcher. And we're gonna catch our next set of animals today. I want to catch some primates. Oh, hi there. Hi, what's your name? You know, guys, I always forget to name these animals, and you guys always remind me. Uh, <laughs> Tina! I named the so there are two female um, snow leopards. So Tina after Tina Fay. Can you guess what the other one is named? Where? Oh, by the way, here's the guy. I'll show you that in a second. Where's Amy? Huh? After Amy Poehler. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, two of my favorite online per online uh, te television personalities. Huge fan of Parks and Recreation and also a big fan of 30 Rock. Uh, is it called 30, 30 Rock, right? I always get confused when I say 30 Rock. I always think of um, Third Rock from the Sun. Who remembers that show? With John Lithgow. That was amazing. John Lithgow would be a great name for another animal. <laughs> anyway, guys, here's their exhibit. Still looking fantastic. I like the fact that there's no trees. Although, snow leopards probably would prefer some forestation. So I might plant some spruce trees or at least make some spruce trees for them in the future. But right now, let me show you guys the cave. We've got a little um, heat lamps. Not that they need heat lamps, but I just like the way they look. And I put their food dishes in here. They don't have a whole lot of food. Maybe uh, on, our, on our mission today to find the primates. Yet to be unnamed primates. Maybe we can find some uh, some food for them. We're not going to murder any animals. Put the sword away. Put the shield away. We're not going to murder any animals. <laughs> We're just going to find food laying on the ground. Anyway, it's time to place their toys. I don't know what a boomer ball is. What the? Oh. Oh. Oh, they love it. <gasps> they love it. That's a door. Did it break immediately? I think your enrichment went up, Amy. Yours definitely went up, Tina. Oh, that doesn't last very long. Well, it's a good thing I created this scratching post. By the way, I, I farmed some more strings so I can make so I can make some more slingshot nets because you only get two per craft. So I made eight. Um, I probably need more than that for the uh, the plans. Ah, oh, I messed up here. This is supposed to be stone. Okay, we'll replace that at some point. Should I put the scratching post outside or inside? I feel like I want to put it in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I just, yeah, I could just break. Oh, wow, these break really easily. Boom. Scratching post there. So hopefully they'll use that for their um, enrichment. That's the word I was looking for before. Uh, maybe we'll put one out here as well, just because, um, I mean, that one's on that side. So we'll put another one here just to make sure they're getting their enrichment requirements. I wish there was an animation for them actually using the scratching post. That would be amazing. Anyway, so let's, let's go back home. Oh, oh, Chili's in here. What are you doing in here, Chili? Hi. <laughs> I meant to click home, not back. <laughs> uh, let's go and put these in the chest, and then I'll tell you all about what I will be looking for today. In fact, why don't I tell you right now? Monkeys. More specifically, spider monkeys. There are four different types of spider monkeys. I'm looking for the black-headed spider monkey, the red-faced spider monkey, the brown spider monkey, and the white-bellied spider monkey. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to make an exhibit for each of them, but I have decided what I want the exhibits to look like, exhibit or exhibits to look like, and I think you're going to love them. Honestly, they're going to be big. They're going to be tall. Oh, and one of the main reasons that I decided to do the spider monkey next is because... 
the colors of these exhibits. As you can see, this one's very orange. This one is very sandy. This one is very snowy and gray. The spider monkeys are going to have a nice green exhibit, and it's probably going to be it depends. If I put all of them, in all the different types in one exhibit, it's going to be massive. But if I do different separate exhibits for each type of spider monkey, I'll still have like five um, of of like a black headed spider monkey in each exhibit. And I'll scatter them around the zoo. So you get to see different types of spider monkeys as you walk through the zoo. But if I do decide to separate them, it probably won't be. It'll be probably a little bit bigger than this one. Is this my biggest exhibit? Probably. It'll probably be bigger than this one, too, because I need water so that they don't climb the edges. Um, I've been Googling a lot of uh, spider monkey exhibits. <laughs> what an interesting Google search. Um, what the heck is that? Somebody, like, spawning withers? Um, yeah, so I'm going to need, like, at least a two-wide pool so the spider monkeys can't escape. Either that or I'd have to cover the exhibit completely because they can climb pretty good. So... I need a big enough space that I can put a two wide pool all the way around or most of the way around and then uh, and then I can build this exhibit and it's going to be really really nice. Let's get started with a random RTP right into the side of a rock face. And let's keep an eye out for food. Oh, somebody is really spawning some withers. There's those cool looking mushroom blocks. I do have silk touch now. Maybe I should go get some of those guys. Not exactly what I was looking for, but a black-footed ferret will do. This is my fifth black-footed ferret. I, I was thinking about making the black-footed ferret exhibit today, but I think that one is going to be housed. Oh, okay. I need to, like, hold a torch here. I think that one's going to be housed, and I don't really have a plan for any sort of um enclosed housed exhibits yet. So we're going to go with the outdoor exhibits for now. But I do want that white. That one looked like a all white or mostly white black footed ferret. And I don't even know if I had one of those before. So that's nice that we found that one. Now, if I was a spider monkey, you're definitely not a spider monkey. If I was a spider monkey, where would I be? Oh, the mantis. These bugs. I mean, that's going to be fun to catch these guys, too. That'll probably be housed inside as well. What is this thing? Are you a cat cacapoo? A unripe cacapoo, 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 cacapo. What is this thing? Um, I have not seen one of these. I was not looking for this, but I think I have to. Is it some sort of bird? I have to Google this. I don't think I've ever heard of these things. And honestly. It looks kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead and use this capture net. I'm going to have to go back home and get some more capture nets. Hello, weird looking animal thing. It's probably a baby version of whatever this is supposed to look like. That is a terrible squeal. I feel bad. Ooh, I found some. Okay, we're going to use... I've never used this net launcher, by the way. I kind of want to get a little bit far away from them to try... Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. You're saying, take me to my new home, uh, guy. Oh, how do I do this? I missed. Okay, okay. Can I pick it up? Uh-oh. I don't even know if I can pick it up. Um, Is this... Can I... Can I pick it up? Oh, I don't know if I can pick. I think it just, okay, that's not good. That's not good. I, I, I need to get these. Okay, that's fine. Don't panic. Where did they go? Of course, I would find them in the middle of the night, too. <gasps> Here you are. Here you are. <gasps> hi, 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 hi. Are you coming to me? Are you, are you coming to me? one spider monkey i don't know what kind it is we're gonna have to right click it with the book but where'd the other one go there was another one here i think i saw two i saw a little black tail oh look at that the mandrill is that what that is we're not after the mandrills now we're after the spider monkeys come on i know there was another one here somewhere i wish i could pick that up though oh you gotta be kidding me I think lag messed me up there. Hi, buddy. Just stay right there. Yes. 
That's number two. All right, how many do I have left? Only four left. Let's keep searching. These, by the way, these kind of act like um, arrows. Look at that. They're kind of expensive for the fact that you can't pick them up again. They cost five string and four iron nuggets. Well, I guess that is for two. So technically two and a half string and two iron nuggets per each. So not super expensive, but not super cheap either. Got another one. And another. How many is that now? One, two, three, four of them. I think these two are like the black faced versions and these two have the brown faces. So that's good, we've got a little bit of variety. And now we got two slingshots left before I have to go back home and make some actual nets or slingshots. I guess I don't need to use the net. <gasps> Oh, I'm getting good with this thing. All right, one left, and I have one inventory space left, so that's convenient. Wait a second. I loaded up a net launcher, and I couldn't, I can't fire anything. Okay, hold on. I think I have, I have two of these guys empty. I thought for sure I had another one. Maybe, maybe I was mistaken. It feels like my net launcher is loaded, though, but either way, this should work, as long as they don't run away from me. I picked that up, right? Yes. Hi, buddy. Hi. Thank you. Hey, look, you got a friend right there. You got a friend right there. But don't, but don't, don't. You got a friend right there. Don't, don't hurt yourself now. Oh, down. Let's take the vines. Oh, there's another one there. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, you are a smart guy. You're going to hurt yourself. Got him. Okay. So now I have, I get real excited when I catch these guys. There's another one right here, but I don't have. I could have sworn I had a net loaded in the net launcher, but. In fact, I do not. Hi, Hornbill guy. You look like you're sizing me up. This is a good place to be, though. There's a jungle here, so I feel like more of them will, will spawn. I wish there was a way to tell what kind they were when they were in the nets. Unfortunately, there isn't. So let me go home real quick, make some more nets. I don't think I'm going to make the launchy nets, just regular nets, and then come back here and see if I can't find any more of these guys. Hey, buddy, I'm going to make you a great exhibit. You're going to love it. Trust me. I know right now it seems difficult to believe, but uh, it, it really isn't that it is difficult to believe, isn't it? But you're going to have to trust me. Oh, there's Hornbill. By the way, if you're playing on the server and you want to know how to catch animals, these are pretty good hints. These little gray dots, you can see them in your minimap too. I know there's an animal right here. It's the Hornbills right there. Uh, then there's one directly in this location. Oh, it's this little guy. He's probably not super friendly. Let's go back into the jungle here. There is another one directly in front of us. And then they also have little arrows. You probably won't be able to see this on YouTube, but they have little arrows indicating whether they're above or below you. Oh, look at that. Boom. There's another one. Spider monkey was captured. I feel like I'm catching a lot of the same types. There's another one below me here. It could be in a cave or that's another spider monkey oh wait i just did i wait this net can capture i i guess i guess i was missing him i guess i was missing him okay so we got three more i need to catch a lot of these because i want this exhibit to be like teeming with life i want i want a lot of activity in this spider monkey exhibit. And again, I still haven't decided if I'm making separate ones for the separate types. I'm leaning towards doing that because it'll give me more excuses to build different kinds of exhibits. I want to also make like platforms for them and ropes because there are ropes in this mod pack. So I can make ropes for them to climb across. Hopefully they can climb across them. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't see any animals here though. There is one way down in this direction i oh no maybe that no i think that's just wait it's in this direction aha another one another one okay oh you know what i i need to also get is the um the kibble to tame all these spider monkeys and i don't even know what kibble is required does it say what kibble is required here frugivore frugivore i don't even know what that means is there frugivore kibble let me just type kibble there is carnivore herbivore insectivore omnivore uh-oh i don't even well i don't even know which one how do i how do i do that how do i tame them 
Uh oh. <laughs> what is frugivore? I have no idea what that is. I'm still learning. Yeah, it's not listed as anything here. Interesting. I'm going to guess omnivore. Kibble will do it, I hope. Where are you going? Gotcha. Look at how many um, nets I made, by the way. I don't even know how many spider monkeys I have at this point. I'm just going to keep catching them. Like I said, I want a lot of activity. Welcome to my spider monkey identification area. That's right. It looks very professional. Check it out. It's a it's a dirt box. I understand. I understand it's a dirt box. Maybe I it got me thinking. Maybe I should have some sort of um, should I call it like a quarantine area? Possibly. Probably a quarantine area would, would fit. Anyway, I'm gonna organize the ones that I caught. I ended up catching a whole lot of them. I don't know how many of which type I caught. Red-faced spider monkey, okay. Then we got the brown spider monkey over here. And then we've got the white-bellied spider monkey right here. So I'm gonna go in here. This is not the most efficient way of doing this because, oh, wait a minute, I won't be able to recatch these. I gotta build some more capture nets because I won't be able to recatch these once I let them loose. I don't know how this works exactly. So let me just do these first because I know I can, okay, so this is, Clearly the black-headed spider monkey. I'm sorry. Hold on. If I right-click it... <laughs> what is... I'm sorry. What is happening here? Am I holding it? Is that... Oh. No. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You're a black-headed spider monkey. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the heck that was. Are you okay? So you're in here now. I just got to do this like 17 more times. You're obviously also a black-headed spider monkey. So you're in here Yeah, this is not the most efficient way of doing it. I should have just another black-headed spider monkey. Oh boy What if I caught like 90% I mean, I guess that d No, this is another one, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I guess that determines which one I'm building first Back in the spider monkey identification zone, I, I've got the five remaining uh, slingshot nets here to, I guess, release them from. I don't know how this is going to work. We're going to find out together. Also, this is all black-headed spider monkeys. These are the red-faced spider monkeys. And I've got zero brown spider monkeys and zero white-bellied spider monkeys. So that's not good. I was hoping to get a nice variety of each. So far, not the case. Okay. Okay, so that's how we do that. This is a red-faced spider monkey. Okay. So let's add that one to the collection. Oh, no, 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 no. Next. That looks like another black-faced spider monkey. Black-headed spider monkey. Okay. Uh, let's go over here. Thank you very much. Black-headed spider monkey. Right in there. Just double-checking. That's what it was. Okay, next. Un... Oh, I put them down right when the entities were removed. Okay, well, I lost that one. <laughs> That's a shame. Black-headed spider monkey. Alrighty. Boom. Right in there you go. I have so many of these. And then the final one now. The final one is another one of those. Okay, so maybe maybe the, um, the other variants don't spawn in the same biome because I spent a lot of time there. This, I'm not sure why I went into that chest. I spent a lot of time there and only found these two. Black-headed and the red-faced. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to do some hunting later on. Um, these are all the ferrets plus the kakapo. By the way, it is a bird, and it's an it's called an owl parrot, I think. is It's affectionately known as an owl parrot. It looked like an owl to me, and I believe that was a little baby that I caught because I have uh, looked at some pictures online, and they're kind of greenish when they're fully grown, and this one's kind of brownish. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this episode. I definitely need like a quarantine zone somewhere, not anywhere near the exhibits, a little bit further away from the um, the area here, maybe on, let's see, let's, oh wait, no, follow me, there we go. So maybe, I mean, I could do it on my island here, like a quarantine zone, my house is right here, a quarantine zone down here or something, that could work. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Remember, if you want to play, it's free to play the link 
in the description will tell you all you need to know how to download and install the mod pack. Super, super simple. And, uh, and then the IP, play.omegaminecraft.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, Tina or Amy. I don't know which one you are.